Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast for August 15th through the 21st. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to connect here and see what messages are coming up for uh, the week ahead or whenever you happen to stumble upon this video because maybe you'll see it in a few weeks, a few months. You're going to find it whenever you're meant to find it. Keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. Therefore... Not every single message is going to resonate, and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. First card coming up here for Taurus is the King of Wands. Now, I know that a lot of people are used to watching tarot for love and romance. So usually when we'll get a court card, it's automatically another person coming into the situation or affecting a situation. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do the love reading separate on my channel and in the weekly forecasts, I try to focus on you. I want it to be about you, your journey, the things you're going through. So I apply the cards more towards your personal energy uh, than in a romantic way in the weekly. Unless it comes out in the reading, Spirit's like, nope, we're talking about love. Sometimes that happens. But just to let you know, King of Wands could be an aspect of yourself. Uh, regardless of whether or not you have fire sign placements. If you do have fire sign placements, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you may be uh, focusing on those areas of your life or those houses. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign person, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, Leo. It could be romantic, business, family. Uh, as I said in the weekly forecast, we leave it open to all areas of life and not specifically romance. In terms of characteristics, this could be a, a type of personality you're dealing with or characteristics that you yourself are stepping into. The King of Wands is very much the self-made man. Okay, um, some of you have heard me say I read a, a description about the King of Wands and till this day I kick myself for not writing down where I found it or who wrote it. But they were describing the King of Wands as like somebody that's not from a royal bloodline. Uh, he saw the need in his community. He figured out how to uh, s uh, service that need. And in exchange, he received abundance. He received uh, what he needed. And people were so blown away by that. They were like, oh my gosh, you need to be our king. You need to be our leader. You need to show us the way. So the king of wands has a very uh, entrepreneur kind of vibe to him. Uh, he's very much about helping other people. He knows how hard he had to work. He's very humble and he didn't get a big head through his success or through his uh, accomplishments. And he's always going to be wanting to help other people. Like he may see someone and go, oh my gosh, that person reminds me so much of me when I was their age or when I was, you know, in the start of my journey. And so he's very much about philanthropy, you know, taking other people under his wing, uh, showing them the way, teaching them. So some of you may be feeling called or guided to do something within your community or where you grew up in your childhood. You may be feeling called to do something with a certain demographic, like where you're wanting to help um, other people find their way out of a difficult circumstance or difficult situation. King of Wands is also very confident, uh, fast moving, uh, uh, you, know, you know, taking action kind of energy. So some of you may be in just this uh, energy of wanting to move forward with plans, ideas, accomplishments. And some of you may be encountering this type of person. Some of you may be encountering someone who's wanting to kind of show you the ropes or um, help you in terms of business or uh, creative projects or endeavors. Uh, it, can, it can be a very kind energy with the King of Wands sometimes. The next card that's coming up here for Taurus is the moon. And so this could be Pisces or Cancer energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. If you have Pisces or Cancer placements, you may have big changes or big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. However, again, if you're new to my channel, um, one of the things I tend to say is if we're right near uh, like a full moon or a new moon, um, or just in, yeah, like, and I have the moon card come up. It's telling me that the current moon cycles 
are probably going to be something that you're really feeling. You're going to be really in tune with the energy, really connected to the energy. So we would already, for the week of the 15th through the 21st, we've already come out of the full moon on the 11th. We're moving towards the new moon on the 22nd. So this release and this opening up to receive, you may be really in a really significant flow right now, Taurus. You may be uh, releasing and opening up to receive in a way that feels almost almost effortless. Like, you know how sometimes we have times in our life where we'll let go of something, but we don't know what's next. We're just kind of like in the waiting room, uh, figuratively speaking, and we're just waiting to see what's going to pop or what's going to happen. It may be feeling to you that as you're releasing, here the new things are coming. It's like you're, you're swinging on the vines very effortlessly. You know, here's the one, grab it, let go of the old one, grab the new one, let go of the old one. Like you may feel like there's a flow coming into your life here with this uh, with this moon energy. Some of you may be tapping into uh, not anger. Like if I had the Queen of Wands with the moon, that would tell me some of you may be experiencing big bursts of anger coming to the surface that you've been pushing down. I don't, with the King of Wands and the moon, I don't really get it as anger. I get it more of like a why not me energy. Like some of you may be coming into this energy where you're like, I'm tired of waiting. Right. Or I'm tired of waiting to find people to do things with or I'm tired of waiting to find someone to go into this business or this idea with me. Or th there's just a sense of like, well, why not me? Why can't I just do it? And, you know, I'm sitting here waiting for permission from people or whatever it might be. I feel there's this sense of like, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to release the fear. I'm going to release the insecurity and I'm just going to go for it. Why not me? You know, what is so terrible about me that, that that I wouldn't succeed and so there, it, it feels like a burst of confidence and just like just tired of waiting like just I'm just tired of waiting I have this confidence I have this belief and I'm going for it that's what I feel with the king of wands and the moon together the next card coming up here for you is the devil now we have major arcana cards coming in back to back when major arcana cards come in back to back for me in my readings, these are big changes in a very short period of time. So whatever is happening in this seven day period of time, Taurus, this is something like you're coming into a really significant period. You're coming into a really significant chapter. It's not something that's going to be wrapped up in seven days. Okay, but something is really kicking off here when we have the major arcana cards coming in back to back. And the Devil card can be a Capricorn coming into the situation. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, if you have Capricorn placements, there could be big changes or big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. But the Devil card can also be the negative ego. So here you are with your confidence. You're like, I'm going for it. Good things are happening. And what do we say about negative ego on, on my channel? What do I always say? Negative ego hates change, even when the change is positive. So the closer you are to a really big change in your life, the closer you are to a really big breakthrough, the louder, the meaner, the more discouraging and the more negative that negative ego becomes. And here you are about to make a big change. You're confident. You're feeling yourself. And negative ego is like, not so fast, Taurus. Not so fast. And negative ego starts to try to resurrect all the insecurities and all of the fears and starts going through your head and, you know, telling you why you're the worst and why you shouldn't believe in yourself and why you should just give up now or, uh, you know, like not to embrace opportunities that are coming in because they're all probably going to be terrible anyway. Like that's what the negative ego does. So you have to be aware of your thoughts and catch it when it happens and remind yourself, okay, I must be really close to a really big breakthrough here because negative ego is coming in really fast. Negative ego is coming in really hard. I must be on the verge of something really big here. And you're going to have to pray and meditate and reason and logic your way through it because negative ego sees you so close to this massive change that it's trying to shut it down. 
And so your confidence or your self-esteem might be a little roller coastery in this seven day period of time. You might have really high highs where you're really feeling yourself, you're confident, you believe in yourself. And then moments later, maybe even seconds later, you're feeling like you should just give up and you're the worst and you can't even look at yourself, you know, and, and, and it can be several times throughout the day, even like moment to moment. But if you can be aware of it and you can be in your prayer, be in the energy of faith, be in the energy of belief and, you know, reason and logic your way through that negative ego, you're going to be able to overcome it. And you're going to be able to uh, go out there and make those accomplishments and uh, receive those changes. The next card that's coming up here for you all is the sun. Look at that. This is a massive week, Taurus. This is a massive week. We have all of these major arcana cards here. So we have... Uh, uh, the moon, the devil, and the sun. So we have these big energies back to back, big, big changes in a short period of time. The sun card is freedom. So in any way in which you've been feeling stuck or hindered or uh, uh, burdened, uh, this is telling us you're coming out of that burden. Like I said, these major arcana cards coming in back to back it might not all be wrapped up in the next seven days, but the solution is here. You're on to something and um, it's not going to be months and, and years uh, to be out of it. Like you're here, it, like, you know, I just, I think you guys had something not that long ago to where, but where there was the example of like getting on the ship and sailing away. Like, like this is a continuation of that. And so the sun card is freedom. Some of you may even be manifesting a travel or getting a fresh start or a new start with someone. Uh, like I said, I don't really focus on love and romance in the weekly, but the sun card does have an element of true love with it. So some of you may be manifesting a true love or a fresh start with your partner or significant other or aligning with your life partner if you're single at this time. Uh, and the sun card is like, it's it's the opposite of codependency. It's like, you know, you guys are rooting for each other. You're happy to see each other shine. You're happy to see each other succeed. There's complete and to total commitment and loyalty. Uh, you know, you're not worried about what the other is up to and vice versa. And uh, there's a sense of playfulness, happiness, joy, freedom. So I feel here there's a lot of like independence, confidence, uh, fresh start, new beginning. You're going to have some challenges with negative ego and that's okay. That happens. That's to be expected. It's just a part of the, the, the way it goes, you know, but if you can be on top of that Taurus, you're coming into a, a new beginning, a fresh start. And uh, with this King of Wands at the foundation, I feel like a lot of this, you're going to be able to do things your way moving forward. There's something about the King of Wands that's giving me a feeling or a sense of like authenticity. Like I don't have to uh, edit myself. I don't have to uh, be walking on eggshells. I don't have to be, you know, watching what I say all the time. Uh, so there's like a sense of like being able to be yourself, independence, uh, success, uh, and freedom. And those are beautiful energies. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks, your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. Love readings for August are linked in the description. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I do daily messages as well, well on the channel where I'll pull a card of the day and we'll talk about whatever that message is. A lot of people have been finding that helpful. So be sure to check those out too if you think they might help you. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead and hope to see you all in the dailies. Take care and be well, my dears.